in business. A Ghanaian fashion designer launched her clothing line, Selena Beb, eight years ago. Since then, she has created quite a buzz on the fashion scene in Accra. Now plus size women who like to shop but are worried about what to wear and where to buy are getting a custom made shopping experience right at their doorsteps. Africa 54's Paul Diho has our story. I set out to be a lawyer. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I studied law in the UK, but um, I didn't like it. After my degree, I abandoned the law thing and went into the media and did another degree in communication. So I was working in the media um, in Ghana. I moved to Ghana from England in 2008. Yeah, working on radio specifically and doing some radio talk shows and music shows. And when I moved back to Ghana in 2008, I noticed that African print accessories were in vogue. Everyone was using African print for all sorts of things, you know, um, for bags, for jewelry, not just for clothes. You know, initially, or in the past, the African prints were just used for clothes. So I thought, wow, that's interesting, especially the bags. It intrigued me because I wasn't used to seeing bags being made with African prints, and they were durable as well and stylish and nice. So. I started using a lot of those African print bags and people always compliment me and say they're really nice, can I buy it from you, do you make them? People actually thought I made them because I was always holding an African print bag. Yeah. Like what I'm wearing today is quite plain but with my <laughs> bold <laughs> and statement accessories. And you make these accessories yourself? Yes. Very good. So you know, you, you accessorize your clothes and then all of a sudden they become interesting. They go from boring to interesting. How has it been? I started very small. When I started, I couldn't afford to rent a shop, so yeah. I was working on radio, saving money, and then um, buying raw material to produce the bags. And then I used to sell for my car boots. I put the products in my bag, in my boots. Then after my radio show, I'll go off meet up clients to sell to them. So I started with very small capital, and it was more like a hobby. Right. But with time, the business started growing. There was more interest. There was a ready market. And then I expanded and a year later, I rented my first shop. This is where we are right now, is actually my second shop. I just moved here last year. I used to have a smaller shop for um, six years. What has it <laughs> taken to get to this uh, level? A lot of hard work, <laughs> hard work, a uh, lot of try and error, um, risk taking, lots of money as well. Um, it's not been easy, it's been very challenging yeah. because um, finding skillful workers is my biggest challenge to actually produce the kind of quality I want, yes. But um, with perseverance and uh, determination, I've gotten to where I am now. How are customers are responding to some of uh, these incredible designs that I see around here? The response has been good, yes. Um, just like any um, business, there are times or seasons where business is really good and then sometimes it's a bit slow, but most of the time it's good. Um, I used to do just accessories. Like I mentioned, I started with just the bags and then I introduced footwear and jewelry. So for six years, it was just an accessories brand. I was just doing mainly accessories mm. and people loved them. But my customers started asking for clothes because they said we want your shop to be a one-stop shop where we come and we can find clothes and accessories to go with them. So last year, when I moved into this shop, I decided to add a clothing line. Mm. Um, it's a ready-to-wear clothing line to my range. But what has been uh, your single most uh, selling item, for example? It's still the bags. Yeah, people are still not used to selling a bed making clothes, so they are gradually um, catching on and liking the clothes. But most people come here with the mindset, I'm going for bags and accessories. As we were talking earlier, you talked about uh, uh, you had a personal reason why you went to, into fashion. Yeah. Uh, you wanted something that uh, fits you, you wanted something that looks good on you. That's why you decided to do this kind of fashion level, right? So maybe talk to me about that. My clothing line, the reason I started a clothing line was not just because my customers were asking for it, but uh, I had a challenge as a plus size woman finding clothes in my size. And a lot of people who are my size as well tell me they find it, they find it difficult finding clothes in their size. So that was also another inspiration or reason I started a clothing line. And so because of that, my clothes come up in big sizes as well. You know, we, we do UK size 8 to um, 22. So women who are on the large size as well can also find clothes from our shop. That's inspiring to a lot of women because <laughs> I've run into women who, uh, who almost go crazy because they can't find what to wear. 
there are very few shops that cater for them. Because I, I, I also get annoyed when I go into a shop and I can't find my size. Because I feel like women come in all shapes and sizes. Why must it be only for those on the thin side? You know, we the plus size women also deserve to get nice clothes. Not just big sizes, but actually nice stylish clothes. Because most of the time you find that as a big woman, when you get clothes in your size, they are boring. You know, so I make sure I do interesting clothes for we the plus size women as well. So we can also look stylish. And that's our show for today. Be sure to watch Africa 54 on our website at voaafrica.com. From all of us here in Washington, thanks for watching.